Let's now also look at Active Campaign's CRM feature called Deals. This is a very powerful tool that can help you manage your sales team and organize your leads and help you convert those leads into a customer. So on the left side menu, let's click on Deals, which will take us to the CRM feature of Active Campaign. Now, the first thing we have to do is create our sales pipeline, which consists of the different stages where a lead goes through to become a customer. So let's click on create a pipeline here. Then let's give the pipeline a name. Let's say I was selling courses. So I would just type in something like Medics Media Courses um, and then group access. Here you can define who has access to this pipeline. Um, if you have your active campaign users set up, then you have the default currency. Let's just leave this at US dollars. Then the assignment method. Um, you can either have the sales member manually assigned so you can say who has to let's say follow up with a specific uh, customer or lead or you can have it round robin so whatever you want i'm going to leave it at manually assign then i'm going to click on add and now we can see the default pipeline with three stages the two contact stage the in contact stage and the follow-up stage you can also add more stages by just clicking on add stage here on the top right then choose a color and then let's say this is a call scheduled, click on add and then you have a new stage. Now I'm just gonna delete this again and just stick to the three stages that are here by default. Now for each stage, you can just add a deal. Logically, the deal always starts at the first stage. So the two context stage, which we can just click on add a deal. Then the deal title, let's say this is the course or the product that somebody's interested in. So let's say this is the basic course. And then we can also assign a deal value so you can organize your deals and prioritize your deals based on the value. So I'm gonna, let's just say it's $1,000. Then we can also add a forecast, a close date or a description here. And what's important is to actually add to the contact, the lead here that is already on your list. So let's say this is uh, Simon and then we can click on add deal. Now this deal is in the two contact stage. So the cool thing here is whenever the person has been contacted, Simon has been contacted, we can move that in the in contact stage. And then once we have to follow up, we can just move that to the follow up stage. Once we've closed the deal or the deal is one, we can just drag this to the uh, one um, area here. Or if the deal is lost, we can drag it here to the lost area but let's just put it back to the two contact, which is the first stage. Now, when we are interacting with our leads, we can just open up the, um, the deal here and then we can add information. We can also add tasks. So for example, if we need to schedule a call with somebody, we can just click on add task here. And then let's just say call, task type is call, and then we can add a date. So let's say we have to call this person by, let's say Friday, 1623 and save task. We can also assign this task to a specific sales rep who has to do this task. So click on save task. Then we can also add files. We can go to actions and send an email. So just to stay on top of things, you can have everything here in active campaign. And then you can also see how many days you have currently until you have to complete a task. You can also, by the way, automate moving these deals to a specific column, to a specific stage by using automations. And when you have a lot of deals in this pipeline with a lot of tasks to complete, a nice view is this view here, the task view, by clicking on this icon here. And then you can see all the overdue tasks, all the tasks that need to be assigned, the upcoming tasks, the scheduled tasks, always along with the deal value. So you can really prioritize what you have to do first in order to optimize for revenue.